we we start eating more whole uh, plant-based foods. We eat fiber. We eat good bioactives. Uh, we eat the, the positive bioactives in whole foods. We cut down on the chemicals, synthetic chemicals, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors. We try to grow back the good guys, and the bad guys will start to go away because the good guys can overgrow. They can actually dominate if you give them the opportunity. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a superstar doc, bridges food and medicine, president of the Angiogenesis Foundation. He champions using food to fight illness. From cancer to heart disease, Dr. Lee believes powerful, plant-based choices can prevent and even reverse chronic conditions. His best-selling book Eat to Beat Disease and Focus on Natural Healing have made him a global influencer. There are trillions of tiny creatures living inside our gut, and they play a massive role in your overall health and well-being. In this video, Dr. Lee will describe some of these gut-friendly foods. We'll be exploring some delicious and powerful options that can transform your microbiome for the better. We'll show you how to fuel your gut for optimal health and happiness. And now Dr. Lee will tell us more about your microbiome and what it wants. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. What makes our gut microbiome happy, uh, happiest. It turns out it's not just plant-based foods, but diversity. If you eat the same damn thing every single day, your gut bacteria gets really bored and doesn't like it. So try to eat 20 or 30 different kinds of plant-based foods every week. All right. Not that hard to do. Spices count. You, you know, put some uh, a seasoning on there. It might be four or five plant-based foods already. In a salad, use more than romaine lettuce. Put different kinds of greens in there. Light them up. You know, uh, uh, diversity is what your our gut microbiome thrives on. And so this is where I think that this idea of loving your food and loving your health come into play. This is not about being a robot and following only one or two foods and you got to eat a lot of it all the time. But, you know, look at all these foods. I write about more than 200 foods I need to beat disease. All of them come from traditional food traditions that you can combine and make absolutely delicious and tasty. So that's actually how you get this diversity, which your gut microbiome will thank you for by um, having more diverse foods means more diverse bacteria, which means a healthier microbiome, which means an overall healthier body. Here are some foods which Dr. Lee says will make your microbiome happy. I love this. I love this bean salad. What happens is that dietary fiber feeds our gut bacteria. Our gut bacteria thrive and they produce all these anti-inflammatory compounds. So what are some foods um, uh, that, that are good for dietary fiber? Well, great news, legumes, uh, white beans, navy beans, black beans, um, uh, edamame, soybeans, all great for Incorporating beans into your diet can greatly benefit your gut health. Sprouted beans in particular, are easier to digest and contain more nutrients. You can find pre-sprouted beans at the store or try sprouting your own at home. Soaking beans overnight is another effective method as it reduces cooking time and enhances digestibility. Just be sure to discard the soaking liquid and rinse the beans before cooking. If you're short on time, a quick soak can also be beneficial. Bring the beans to a boil, remove from heat, cover, and let them sit for an hour before rinsing and cooking. For convenience, canned beans are a perfectly healthy option, but make sure to rinse them to reduce sodium content and check the label to ensure the only ingredient listed is the bean. These methods will help you enjoy the nutritional benefits of beans while supporting your gut health. But my leafy greens are gone. Leafy greens, lettuce, kale, broccoli, great sources of fiber. While fresh leafy greens offer the highest nutritional content, Frozen greens can also be a good alternative. Darker leafy greens, such as kale and Swiss chard, tend to be more nutrient-dense compared to lighter varieties. It's important to wash your leafy greens thoroughly to remove any dirt or grit. Additionally, try growing your own leafy greens at home. Herbs like basil and greens like lettuce are easy to cultivate and can add a fresh touch to your meals. Um, but cabbage is a member of the brassica family and it contains sulforaphane. Sulforaphane improve your circulation, helps to uh, improve your metabolism as well, and uh, it's good for your immunity. A great way to maximize the gut health benefits of cabbage is through fermentation. 
Fermented cabbage or sauerkraut is a probiotic-rich food that introduces beneficial bacteria into your gut, further supporting digestive health and boosting your immune system. Can I have some more red cabbage? Red cabbage, in particular, offers additional benefits. It contains anthocyanins, the pigments that give it its vibrant color, which have powerful antioxidant properties. These antioxidants help fight oxidative stress and inflammation in the gut, providing extra protection to your digestive system. Red cabbage also has a higher content of certain vitamins, such as vitamin A, compared to green cabbage, further enhancing its nutritional profile. Um, broccoli sprouts, you know, some people talk about um, living foods, right? Those are the young sprouting foods that have all the nutrients and the energy when they're just young babies. And later on when they get older, they get distributed the energy on, on the whole bigger plant. Well, it turns out that broccoli sprouts have been studied to see if they can boost the immune system. And in my book, I talk about a research study where they gave young people in their 20s the flu shot. Actually, it's not a shot. They gave a flu in inhaler to protecting against the flu. And it turns out that if they gave them also a couple of shots of, a, of broccoli sprouts made into a smoothie, that's it. A couple of shots of this a day that you would actually improve the response like 20 times to the benefit protecting you against the flu boost your immune system. And when they even swabbed their noses afterwards, you know, where the flu might, virus might live, they were like almost all gone. Grow gut-friendly broccoli sprouts at home. Here's the quick guide. What you'll need is broccoli sprouting seeds, broccoli microgreen seeds, mason jar or sprouting jar, sprouting lid or cheesecloth and rubber band, water. Steps. 1. Soak 2 tablespoons of seeds in cool water for 6-8 hours. 2. Drain and rinse thoroughly. 3. Place jar on its side in a dark cabinet. 4. Rinse and drain twice daily morning and evening. 5. Harvest in 4-6 days when sprouts are 1-2 inches long with green leaves. Tips. 1. Keep everything clean to avoid mold. 2. Indirect sunlight in the last few days helps them turn green more nutritious. 3. Good air circulation prevents mold. This rewarding process gives you a fresh, nutrient-dense superfood to enjoy in salads, sandwiches, smoothies, or as a garnish. And now Dr. Lee will talk about our last food. All right, Dr. Lee here. I am actually at the market, and I'm actually going to point out some mushrooms. Check it out. This is a whole group of different mushrooms here, and I want to actually pick out some and talk about them. So. First of all, what do mushrooms have in them? Mushrooms actually have beta-D-glucan, uh, and beta-D-glucan is actually a soluble fiber that feeds your gut microbiome, so it improves gut health, which means that it actually improves your immunity and it actually lowers inflammation. The other thing that uh, it can actually do is to help uh, produce these uh, short-chain fatty acids that help your lipids, so you can actually lower your cholesterol, uh, the harm bad cholesterol, and get better good cholesterol. Beta-D-glucan also, and mushrooms, actually also up your metabolism. And I write about that in my new book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, which I hope you'll read because it talks all about the clinical studies with mushrooms. So here are the ones, some of the ones that actually stand out. Oyster mushrooms, they actually are absolutely delicious to eat, packed with dietary fiber. Um, let's see, oh, look at these. This is a royal trumpet mushroom. Look how big this guy is. This you'd want to kind of slice up and saute uh, so that um, it's almost like a steak. It's a very meaty mushroom. Uh, let's see, some hedgehog mushrooms. These are tiny guys. They kind of look like chanterelles. Um, also very delicious. And here are some real chanterelles. One of my favorite mushrooms, chanterelle mushrooms. Um, uh, chanterelles actually have a lot of baby beef we can. And let's see, uh, crimini, also very good. This actually is used in lots of great recipes. And then something unusual, I say, oh, shiitake. Shiitake actually has a ton of beta D glucan, all right? Now, when you're cutting, uh, when you're cooking with mushrooms, you might actually get the top and cut off the stem, but I want you to keep the stem. The stem has twice as much beta D glucan. So if you're gonna use mushrooms, cook with the stems as well. You might make them separately, but cook with them, all right. Now, check this out. This is unusual, cordyceps mushrooms. Okay, this is actually an herbal mushroom. Very beautiful. Look at how delicate these actually are. Cordyceps, actually a medicinal mushroom, actually has um, different uh, bioactives in it that actually can um, 
uh, activate your immune system as well in your androgenesis circulatory uh, defenses. All right, that's it for now. I wanna actually uh, tell you to uh, get my book, Eat to Beat Your Diet. It's got plenty of stuff uh, about the clinical studies of mushrooms and many of the other things that you find in the market. The gut is connected to the rest of our body, including our skin, and the foods that we eat can have a big impact. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.